All right, so we're gonna practice our shading scale. We're gonna practice shading a form. And so your end product is gonna look something similar to this. So I'm gonna have you guys set this up in your sketchbook. If your paper is not nine by 12, you might wanna borrow some drawing paper for this. So that way the setup makes a little bit more sense. So to get the scale on the bottom, we want to mark a 10 inch rectangle. So what I'm gonna do is center my ruler on here. This should be one inch from the edge. So I'm just gonna make a mark right here. So I would make a mark and then I'm gonna make a mark every 10 inches, or I'm sorry, every inch. Okay, once I do that, then I'm gonna lay my ruler down and you just get to trace around the ruler. After you do that, make a mark every inch up here. So that way you have two marks to connect because even though you think you can draw a straight vertical line, you probably can't. So then you connect those marks and draw those in. So I have hints all over this paper and I'll put this on canvas. So you want it 10 inches width in total. You're gonna trace the ruler. These should be marked every inch. And in fact, I'll add a little mark right here. So you guys know that you should be marking every inch as well. I don't think I need to do that every single time. All right, now this box is going to be created by laying your ruler over the top. So this distance is the width of the ruler. So I'm trying to make it a little bit easier on you guys. And then this distance should be one inch. Okay, so you can make a couple marks, measure it one inch, one inch from the side. It should also line up with the end of the box here. So then that way, you're gonna create a rectangle. This distance right here is width of the ruler. So once you create your box here, you can get the bottom. And I'm gonna draw the line across. Okay, this should be one inch from the side. It's not the width of the ruler. You can see it's a little bit wider. The ruler is in that line, so it's just one inch from the edge. That way it all lines up nice and neat. Now, some of you guys might have difficulty drawing circles, so I'm gonna keep it easy. Take masking tape. And the biggest difference here, I don't really like when things are directly center. And so I want you guys to use the inside here. And if you notice, their box is a little bit bigger than ours. So this is the outside of the masking tape roll. This is gonna be the inside. So what I'm gonna do is just lightly, lightly, lightly trace the inside of it. And I put mine not directly in the center, I put it a little bit off center. We're gonna talk more about the rule of thirds where if we were to divide it, we want our objects to be placed on that line. Then this line right here, this horizontal line, which should be our table, is either going to be one third from the top or a third from the bottom. So we could put it down here. You get to pick, just make sure it still goes through the circle so we can do our cast shadow and we still have it available here. Okay, so that's how you set it up. We'll talk more about shading in the next video.